Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today, I'm gonna try a little experiment. Hope it turns out right. I wanna show you, we've had three uh, different hearing protection at three different price points on the channel. Uh, it's almost like worth it, you know, and the BuzzFeed guys are gonna come and beat me up. But um, anyways, I have these ready up Roger 22s with the gel cups. I have a set of Safari Land Liberators with gel cups and my trusty tried and true MSA Sword and Supreme Pro Xs with the gel cups. I'm gonna try today to see if I can get you to hear what's going on inside of these gel cups, these hearing protection, to hear the difference in how they protect your ears. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. So price points on these, pretty significant. I'm gonna, I've given you my subjective opinion and I'm gonna continue to do that. I wanna see if I can let you listen to this as well by putting my microphone actually in my ear inside the gel cup to see if you can hear it like I hear it. Not positive it's gonna work. If it does, we'll post it on the internet. So price points, these Rogers 20, Roger 22s from Ready Up. Uh, that's a $40 set. It's a competitor to something like a Howard Light Impact Sport. I think it compares favorably to the Impact Sport. Uh, 40 bucks, the gel cups are another 30, so you're talking $70 setup for these. Gel cups are life, please hear me. If you're gonna take shooting classes, get gel cups, you need them. Uh, these Liberators are the most expensive ones. Uh, Safari Land got me on a Facebook ad for these and I paid 300 bucks for them, gel cups inserted. And then my tried and true MS a Sordin Supreme Pro X. You've seen these on the channel a whole bunch. They are my go-to. About 220 bucks on Amazon I paid for these guys. So let's put some on, see what it sounds like under the realistic uh, recoil, not recoil, but the realistic report of both handgun and rifle. The reason I actually want you to hear this as well before we shoot is uh, these all have these noise reduction ratings, the NRR, but the NRR can be misleading because frankly, uh, these Sordans have an NRR of 18. However, in the range of gunshots, it's more like 34 to 35. So they say 18, but the, but the attenuation of gunshots on these are so much better, it's ridiculous. So let's start with the Roger 22s. Okay, and now I wanna take this mic. Okay, I got a pretty good seal. Kinda doesn't feel great against my head. <laughs> but let's uh, hear what the pistol rounds sound like. So let's hear that. Uh, let's see. I've got a full magazine here. And a round in the chamber. Okay. So this is what this sounds like with pistol. And I think the thing you can hear, what I can hear for sure, is a, is a crack. Now it's definitely attenuated and it's definitely hearing safe. It didn't hurt my ears any. But that's what you can hear. Let's shoot the rifle a little bit and see how it does. First one's 9mm, this is 223 out of a Lone Star Armory TX-15. Okay, set that down because we're going to use it again in a second. Same thing, you can hear a loud crack, right? So definitely had a loud crack, but, but attenuated down to safer levels. I think if I was shooting rifles with these on uh, for extended periods, I would uh, use some in the earplugs and then over muff them with these. Um, me, me, me. So 70 bucks though. First thing I noticed here in the Liberators, the gel cups, uh, they're, they're both as new, but these are a little deeper. These have a little deeper cup. And so it's a little more comfortable with this stupid thing in my ear. I don't know that that equates to better hearing protection, but it's, if you stick a mic in your ear, it's better. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. I hope you can hear that the frequency that it set through is much lower. That crack is gone. The, the crack is, is gone from it, and it's a much lower uh, um, frequency that comes through. Let's try the rifle. Same thing there. I think that that uh, much better in terms of the, the frequency that it lets through and a lower volume for sure in the range of gunfire. These swordants have been with me to the range so much. You can actually tell that the gel cups are kind of squooshed. You can kind of see that they're not as like puffy as the other ones just because I've used them for so long. These are about three years old. All right. 
But the other thing that I noticed is, is that right now, I don't know how well you were able to hear this. I can hear so much better in these right now. Like my ambient sounds is mwah, perfect. I love it. Uh, let's see what the gunshots sound like though. Every bit as good as the Liberators. I would argue it's even a little bit better. I think it's maybe subjective at that point, but I find it's better. And the rifle. Perfectly acceptable. I I'll shoot with these with the rifle on outdoors all day and not have a problem. So you can hear that they just keep things, they, they, and they don't clip, they attenuate. They just don't pass anything beyond that. So guys, which one's better? I mean, I, I, if your budget's smaller, uh, these are still in electronic hearing protection. Pretty okay. I certainly would use these for pistol. With rifle, I would double up for sure. Liberators, great, expensive. I mean, 300 bucks. Um, given the price points there, I'd go with a pair of Swordens. If you got the 300 bucks for Liberators, I'd go 220 for Swordens on Amazon all day long.